We're going to talk to you today about ineffective communication in the workplace. So stay tuned for our analysis of each scenario and the issues presented throughout. Okay, we have a meeting today. Yeah, it's 2 p.m. No, it's not 2 p.m. anymore. It's 3 p.m. We switched it because he's busy. Oh, hello. Hi. 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 3 p.m. meeting. Yeah. Okay. Two. What are you talking about? Two p.m. What are you? What are you doing here? Uh, my name's Natalie, and oh, I'm okay. Yeah, some Natalie chick. Okay, hold uh, on one second. Yeah, I'm starting a new job today. I'm looking for. Uh, okay, what? What do you need? I'm I'm looking for my manager, Marcus. Okay, no, two p.m. Make sure you let everyone know there's been a change in the schedule because this is ridiculous. Marcus, he was fired like three weeks ago. Like, what? Are, what can I help you with? Okay. Um, oh, well, I'm starting a new position. Okay, I'm fine. I will call Stacy. You let everyone else know, okay? Perfect. Maybe, maybe Mr. Chow. I, I've been speaking to him as oh. well. Chow? Oh, Chow. I think he's your new supervisor. Yeah, Stacy. Hi. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm letting you know that there's been a change in the schedule. 3 p.m. meeting, not 2 p.m. Okay? Perfect. Yeah, your new desk is down the hall. You're in programming to the right. You'll but find everything there. I'm in uh, customer. Uh, oh, sorry. Hello? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep, yeah. you got the memo? Perfect. Yeah, just down the hall to the right, you'll find everything, you'll be good for the day. Over here? Uh-huh, down the hall to the right. Ugh, people these days, yeah. Um, do you know where the programming department is? Yeah, I think it, it's over there somewhere, like around there. Around some... Good. Um, uh, I'm here. I'm. I seem to be in the wrong area. No, no. We're gonna put you in programming just for now. Okay. Oh. Um, we seem to be really busy and don't really have a role for you yet. So I want you to do some data entry for the next couple weeks. Are you? Th that's everything. Yeah. I'm, I'll send you an email later, just uh, upon the details of what you need to do. Okay, Natalie. Oh. Oh. Are you? Have okay. a good day. Okay. Hi, Mr. Chow. I was just wondering if you give me some feedback on my performance as of late. Been working hard on data entry, and I found a new way to tabulate the information without requiring a manual check. Uh, makes the process faster. I have attached the files for you. Thanks, Natalie. Hi, Natalie. Regarding your request for feedback, unfortunately, I really haven't had much time these days. However, in the future, please refer to HSS's procedures in your manual, and you should not run into any problems. Best regards, Mr. Chow. Wow, Steph, don't you think Mr. Chow is pretty sure of Natalie in that last scenario? No kidding. I think I know what the real issue is here. Oh, it's obviously ineffective communication. Absolutely. I mean, job expectations were unclear, and all of the actual communication was so ineffective. I mean, Natalie came out with more questions than she came in with. You're certainly right there, Steph. And adding to that, I mean, Mr. Chow's leadership style is so laissez-faire. I mean, he's, he's way too uh, lenient, and it's not because Natalie's competent, it's just because he's so busy. Absolutely. Stay tuned, we'll walk you through the next scenario. Hi April, is there something you need to talk about? I am, uh, I'm doing work at home today, the weather wasn't too great. Don't you know you're not supposed to be working from home? I expect you to be here when I'm here. I really needed you yesterday, and I needed you here at the seminar this morning. It was very important. Well, nobody told me I couldn't log in from home. Like, the programmers do it all the time. Uh, well, this is going a bit far. I'm kind of wasting my time at the office doing data entry anyway. Is Do you really want a, a timesheet from me? No, I don't think that I'm controlling. However, to be honest with you, I probably should be. Uh, I heard your work on the Ontario account was very disappointing, and uh, you're not really following any of the processes. Well, I wasn't trained. Besides, I was just trying to make things more efficient. I came into this job expecting a leadership role, and I was trying to do that by improving the processes. Data entry isn't really what I was expecting, given my job description. Your job description is two sentences long. Sometimes we just have to do things that we don't want to do. Now come on, Natalie, stop complaining. I'm busy at work, and so should you. The problems just keep mounting, don't they? Oh, they certainly do, Steph. April is using the wrong power source to get things done. That's right, she's using coercive power, or punishment is threatened to get her way. Obviously, you need to present a win-win situation 
for everybody so that you can get their attention. Exactly. Also, all the channels of communication that are used here are so ineffective. Absolutely. Face-to-face -face communication is the best way to get across feedback, criticism, and training. That's a great way to put it, Steph. Stay tuned. There is a problem with the data and have to work on it, fix it immediately. Ciao. So what am I going to do? Things are going to be pretty serious here. Yeah, let's walk through some possible solutions. Solution number one, Natalie continues with her work. Uh, so much to do, I just, uh, I guess, I'm just going to. I'm just gonna power through it and work hard and show them that I can, I can, I can do my job. Just gonna do my job. Well, that didn't work out so well. Now, Natalie can continue with her work and try to impress her supervisors by completing her project, but still, communication issues would continue to arise. I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Solution number two. Natalie could just give up on the problem altogether. Ah, oh, what? Yes, next week, Ciao. fine. Can I talk to you? Huh? D do you have time to talk? Uh, yeah, make it quick. Like, I'm, I'm busy trying to do something here. Uh, okay, well, um, I, uh, I'm quitting, so. Huh? I'm, I'm quitting. Oh. I'll be done. Goodbye. Is there, but, uh, like, is there anything I can... No, that's... Natalie gets away from the problem, but what has she learned in the end? Solution number three. Natalie goes a step above and goes right to the president. Oh, oh, Mr. President? Hi, like, oh, my name's Natalie. I've, I've been meaning to talk to you. I've been meaning to make an appointment with you. I, uh, my, my superiors, Mr. Chow and April, oh, they're Chow's just... Oh, Chow's a VP? Yes, yes. Uh, you know, I, he's just, they're so ineffective, and uh, I'm doing data entry when I'm supposed to be in customer care, and nobody's talking to me, nobody's listening to me, like, uh, everything's just confused. I really, we just really need to talk about, like, procedures. Oh, yeah, we and, should schedule a meeting to talk about Oh, okay, this. sounds good. Okay. All right, thanks. So why didn't that work out? Well, Steph, by going a step above and going right to the president, Natalie loses respect from her supervisors and seems very untrustworthy. And that really doesn't work out at the end of the day. No, it doesn't. <laughs> so solution number four. Natalie troubleshoots and takes on her problems right at the source. Mr. Chow? Oh, hi, Natalie. How are you? Uh, oh, good, good. I, I, uh, I think that we have some talking to do. First about, um, we need to clarify my uh, my job expectations because there's there's so much miscommunication going around and I don't really know what to do and I feel that my placement in data entry is not doing the company any good and, and we also need to talk about how the feedback between us is going. Okay, but you know, I didn't mean to put you in data placement, I mean, it was just, well, we're really busy here. I mean, there's not much that we know where to put you right now. We're going to have to clarify it. Okay. Um... Okay, why yeah. don't you tell me a little bit more? Okay, and then Way to go, Natalie! That was by far the most effective communication process we've seen today. Absolutely! We're going to say that this is our number one choice in solving problems. So, immediately, Natalie needs to finish up her projects for Mr. Chow because they have actual implications for the company. And next, I think it's really important that Natalie clarifies her job expectations with her supervisors. This will, number one, give her more confidence in day-to-day, -day, taking more autonomy and less direction in her job. Oh, absolutely. Natalie can set the standard for feedback and criticism by making it immediate, positive, specific, and performance-oriented. Great point, Steph. Oh, hello, Natalie. How are you? Oh, I'm great, thanks, Mr. Chow. How are you doing? I'm excellent. How's all your projects going? Um, actually, I just have a question about the, uh, the Lumen account. Okay. Um, can we meet up a little bit later? And yeah, of course we can. That? I'd love to make some time to help you with that. Okay, perfect. Thanks. Not Bye. a problem. <laughs> Look how well that worked out. And hey, thanks for tuning in from this week's case on HSS. We hope to see you again next week. <laughs>